Dear students, welcome to the virtual class. How are you? I hope you all are staying at home and well. I am Muhammad Abul Kalamajad, lecturer of Rajabadi School and College. I am well too by the grace of the most merciful Allah. In this current situation, you should not go out because of COVID-19 coronavirus infection. We have already started virtual classes with the inspiration of our Honorable Principal Muhammad Torikul Islam. I thank him a lot for making me interested in taking virtual classes. There is a proverb in English that time and tide waits for none. So don't waste your time. I hope you all stay home and stay connected with us in regular online classes. If you have difficulty understanding your classes, please let us know in the comments. I have already given some lectures on completing sentences. I hope you enjoyed them. Completing sentences in ACC examination is a simple and easy chapter. These completing sentences are five marks in English second paper. You can easily complete these incomplete sentences with a little practice at home. Let's come to today's discussion, completing sentence. Dear learners, look at this, use of unless. Now we will try to understand how to use unless in incompleting sentences. Okay. Use of unless. What is unless? We have to know at first what is unless. Unless is a subordinate conjunction. Unless is a subordinate conjunction. Try to understand. I am delivering you very slowly and repeatedly so that you can be able to understand my speech easily. Okay. Look at this. What is the meaning of unless? The meaning of unless is if dot dot not if dot dot not or if something not the meaning of unless is if something not what is the bengali meaning the bengali meaning is zodi dot dot na bengali meaning is zodi dot dot na okay now by the unless close we will not use not because the unless clause is expressed in negative sense or negative expression. So we will not use any not or no in the unless clause. Okay? Look at this here. I have written a structure here. At first, unless plus first clause or first sentence plus comma plus a suitable clause. Look at this here at the beginning of the sentence sits here unless. If unless sits at the beginning of the sentence, we will use between the two sentences a comma. Okay. Now we will write a suitable sentence or close after this sentence okay unless you start at once try to understand what is the meaning of the sentence and uh, then we will write a meaningful sentence or a suitable sentence okay unless you start at once you will miss the train okay now this sentence has been completed unless you start at once you will miss the train we have used uh, between the two sentences a comma okay bear in mind if unless sits at the beginning of the sentence between the two sentences we will use a comma okay if unless uses or use between the two sentences, we will not use any comma. Okay, next we will see the example. 
Now look at this second example. Unless you read attentively, try to understand what is the meaning of this sentence. Unless you read attentively, you then we will use a comma. Here unless plus first close plus comma. So we use here a comma. Unless you read attentively, you will fail in the exam or you will fail okay unless you read attentively you will fail we have used here a comma because at the beginning of the sentence unless seats so we have used between the two sentence a comma look at this last one very easy try to understand come at eight o'clock come try to understand the meaning come at eight o'clock unless i phone you okay come at eight o'clock unless i phone you here unless has been used to between the two sentences and so we did not use here any comma or no okay very easy come at eight o'clock unless i phone it hey learners look at this use of senses because i have written three words here since as because do you know what are they since as because are subordinate conjunction okay they are subordinate conjunction look at this here do you know the meaning of these words since as because the bengali meaning of these words are jehetu ba karon the bengali meaning is jehetu ba karon okay Generally, since as because we will use before the sentence at the beginning of the sentence we will use since as because. Okay, but if these words use between the two sentences, we cannot use any comma. okay if we use beginning of the sentence since as because we must use between the two sentence comma okay bear in mind this when we will use at the beginning of this sentence since as since we must use between the two sentence comma okay and then we will write a new sentence here look at this as the weather was very cold as what is the meaning of as jehetu ba karon jehetu ba karon as the weather was very cold we will make a sentence meaningful okay or we will write a sentence suitable sentence okay as the weather was very cold now we will write a suitable sentence as the weather was very cold they did not did not go out okay as the weather was very cold they did not go out or we do or we did not go out you can write any subject here we as the weather was very cold we did not go out okay and a second question since it was raining heavily since it was raining heavily if the sentence is past tense then we will write 
a sentence, a suitable sentence in past tense. Okay. Since at it was raining heavily. Since meaning is zehitu ba karo. Since it was raining heavily, they couldn't come to me. Okay, such a way we can complete the incomplete sentence. As since, as because use before the sentence we must use between the sentence comma here comma okay if uh, since as because use between the sentence between the sentence we will not hear any comma okay now we will fill up this sentence a suitable sentence with a suitable sentence because it was very costly now we will write a sentence okay it was very costly because it was very costly i could not i couldn't or could not this sentence in the past tense so we will write a suitable sentence in past tense. Okay. We could not buy the car. Okay. I could not buy the car because it was very costly. Now, this sentence is a meaningful sentence. It has been completed. Okay. Such a way you can easily complete this in completing incomplete sentences. Okay. Use of since as because. It's very easy. You will try to solve at your house. Dear students, if you have any trouble or difficulty to understand my species, let me know in comments. I hope uh, you have understood my lecture. Okay, thank you. No more today.